I want to share another lesson with you from the book of Proverbs. These Proverbs are all under the theme spiritual direction. Seeking spiritual direction and providing spiritual direction for people. And so first, uh, if you're going to provide spiritual direction, you need to listen. You need to start with listening. In Proverbs 18 and verse 13, it says, To answer before listening, that is folly and shame. You need to be able to hear people out, hear what their concern is, hear what uh, their description of the problem is. And then it also says in Proverbs 18, 15, the heart of the discerning acquires knowledge for the ears of the wise seek it out. So you use your ears to gain more knowledge and the more knowledge you gain, the more you can help and assist people in whatever their concern is. And secondly, we need discernment, spiritual discernment. We need to try to understand the person with empathy and we need to understand God's will, knowing scripture. And we need to try to listen for the spirit and the voice of God. So in Proverbs 17 verse 21, it says, a discerning person keeps wisdom in view but a fool's eyes wander to the ends of the earth. And so we need to stay focused and we need to discern what is correct. In Proverbs 16, 1, it says, to humans belongs to the plans of the heart, but from the Lord comes the proper answer of the tongue. So we've got to seek God's answers. We always need to uh, have empathy for the other person. We need to try to walk in their shoes as we're providing spiritual direction. And so in Proverbs 12, verse 25, it says, anxiety weighs down the heart, but a kind word cheers the heart. We need to be very kind. We need to watch our tongue. We need to be very encouraging. In Proverbs 18, verse 4, it says, the words of the mouth are deep waters, but the fountain of wisdom is a rushing stream. And so we need to uh, be able to uh, understand the depth of issues, the emotions, the behaviors, the thoughts that people are, are expressing and then help provide assistance. We need to make sure that uh, our tone is very encouraging. In Proverbs uh, 12 and verse 18, it says, the words of the reckless pierce like swords, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. So we need to bring health, healing, encouragement. Proverbs 18 and verse 14 says, the human spirit can uh, endure sickness, but a crushed spirit who can bear. And so if people's spirits are up, they can handle almost anything, but once they're crushed, once they're really shattered and discouraged, they need a lot of encouragement and help. And we need to uh, be wise in our advising. We need to be slow about it. But uh, when we do counsel and advise people, it needs to be uh, along biblical principles. In Proverbs uh, 13 and verse 14, it says, The teaching of the wise is a fountain of life turning the person from the snares of death. And Proverbs 16, 21 says, the wise in heart are called discerning and precious words promote instruction. So uh, people will listen if we use the right words. And then uh, we need to help people reframe their problems. We need to help people shrink their problems. A lot of times we get extreme thinking and we blow things out of proportion and we uh, see things as worse than they are and so sometimes just a, a little tweaking reframing of thoughts can really make a big difference in Proverbs 15 verse 4 it says the soothing tongue is a tree of life but a perverse trunk tongue crushes the spirit Proverbs 15 23 says a person finds joy in giving an apt answer and how good is a, a lovely word. Amen. And so, uh, a timely word. And so we need to reframe things. We also need to provide uh, different activities to help people change their behavior and their habits. In Proverbs 12 verse 14, it says, 
From the fruit of the lips, people are filled with good things, and the work of their hands bring them rewards. So they need to get active, and they need to do some things that make them feel better about themselves, being uh, working with their hands. In Proverbs 16, verse 17, it says, The highway of the upright avoids evil. Those who guard their ways preserve their lives. So what we do with our time makes a big difference. We need to encourage people to have goals. In Proverbs 13, verse 12, it says, Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. We need to help people reach those, those goals, set realistic goals, and then they'll uh, feel alive and fulfilled and satisfied and content and better about themselves. In Proverbs 16, 5, it says, How much better to get wisdom than gold, to get insight than silver? So help people set the right goals. And sometimes people are not feeling good and not in a good place because they have unresolved issues, unreconciled relationships. So Proverbs 14.30 says, A heart at peace gives life to the body, but envy rots the bones. And Proverbs 10 and verse 12 says, Hatred stirs up conflict, but love covers over all wrongs. So we need to reconcile and resolve things. We need to re-experience, replace bad emotions with good. It says in Proverbs 15, 13, a happy heart makes the face cheerful, but a heartache crushes the spirit. Proverbs 17, 22, a cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. And then we need to uh, claim the healing that's available in God. In Proverbs 15, verse 30, it says, light is a messenger in a messenger's eyes brings joy to the heart and good news gives health to the bones. So good news and, and, uh, and, and people that care about you that light up when they see you uh, brings healing. In Proverbs 16, 24, gracious words are like a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. We need to be careful in our language. It needs to be exact language. Proverbs 16 and verse 23 says, the hearts of the wise make their mouths prudent and their lips promote instruction. In Proverbs 14, 33, wisdom reposes in the heart of the dis discerning and even among fools, she lets herself be known. So we need to use wise and exact language. Uh, we need to keep a proper tone and temperament in Proverbs 17, 27, it says, The one who has knowledge uses words with restraint, and whoever has understanding is even-tempered. Proverbs 18, 21, The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. And so we need to maintain the spiritual temperament, an even temperament, a controlled temperament. And then we need to provide objective perspective. Proverbs 15, 22, plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors, they succeed. And Proverbs 19, 20 says, uh, listen to advice and accept discipline. And at the end, you will be among the wise. We need to seek wisdom. Proverbs 14, 6, the mocker seeks wisdom and finds none, but knowledge comes easily to the discerning. Proverbs 19.8, the one who gets wisdom loves life. The one who cherishes understanding will soon prosper. We need to speak truth to each other. Sometimes even when that's uncomfortable, we need to do it gently and uh, it with love in our heart, but we need to speak truth. In Proverbs 15.11, it says, whoever heeds life-giving correction will be at home among the wise. And Proverbs 16.20 says, whoever gives Heed to instruction prospers, and blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord. And we will just get better overall. We'll have greater wellness if we uh, seek spiritual direction. Proverbs 20 and verse 5 says, The purposes of, of a person's heart are deep waters, but one who has insight draws them out. It draws them out. And then... In Proverbs 20 and verse 27, the, the human spirit is the lamp of the Lord that sheds light on one's inmost being. And then 
finally, if we'll be seeking spiritual direction, we'll be content. Proverbs 18.20 says, From the fruit of their mouth a person's stomach is filled, and with a harvest of their lips they are satisfied. Proverbs 27 verse 19, As water reflects the face, so one's life reflects the heart. And so, uh, a few discussion questions you can share with one another is and, and contemplate yourself is uh, what promotes uh, you to seek spiritual uh, direction? What encourages you? What encourages you to seek spiritual direction? And then secondly, what does talking with other people heal? How does it heal? How does talking with other people heal? And then thirdly, what are your strengths in helping other people? What strengths do you have? And fourth, how important is language in giving advice and spiritual direction? And number five, what tone do you prefer when re receiving advice? And then six, what is beneficial about seeking spiritual direction? Thank you so much for uh, listening. I pray these Proverbs and these scriptures are a blessing to you, and I pray that uh, uh, you have a, a tremendous week. God bless. Amen.